Well, it now appears official. The Islamic State, ISIS, or as some say, ISIL, has taken responsibility for the attack on a crowded theater in Moscow, with a capacity of over 9,600 individuals believed to have about 6,500 individuals in the facility at the time of the attack, has had now left over 40 dead, potentially hundreds of dead, when this attack is fully accounted for. This is absolutely terrible. According to one eyewitness account, uh, which saw both uh, adults and children killed in this attack, a minibus, a white minibus, drove up at a high rate of speed. The side door opened, like a sliding door. They threw out stun grenades, flash grenades, and six bearded men of Caucasian appearance jumped out and started shooting. A, this was a story from an eyewitness about the attack. Uh, apparently, the attack was perpetuated with indiscriminate firing of uh, upon individuals. On my Twitter, at RealMeetKevin, under the likes category, not because I like it, but just to be able to share it, I did highlight some video of the original uh, attack where, unfortunately, you could see gunmen in camo shooting at random individuals as they walk through and barrage their way through, destroying glass barriers and barraging their way through the entrance to the theater. Again, children are among the dead. Checkpoints are being set up around Moscow right now. Uh, this all in reaction to this uh, terrorist attack uh, in Moscow. Now, one of the things uh, that we have to consider is this has happened in Moscow before. Uh, in 2002, on October 23rd, a Rus Russian uh, theater was attacked by Chechen terrorists. That was October 23rd, 2002. There were about 850 hostages that were taken by the Chechen officials for up to four days. On the final day, the Russian security services pumped gas, which was later revealed to be uh, a uh, combination of fentanyl gas into the ventilation system within that theater in 2002 essentially leading a lot of individuals to pass out. Some of the Chechen terrorists at that time did have gas masks and did fight back. There was about a firefight for 90 minutes and 172 people died in that attack. Today's attack marks an attack that is the deadliest we have seen in the last 22 years, which means this is really bad. At one point, the foreign minister of Ukraine said that they were not involved, and the United States said that they were not involved either. Uh, there is a, uh, a post on Twitter that is receiving a lot of criticism right now about a video of this minibus appearing to have a Ukrainian license plate, though uh, others are responding, correcting this with community notes saying, no, that is a Belarusian license plate. Although at this point, ISIS has claimed responsibility for the attack, and it's entirely possible that Ukrainians would use a Belarusian truck, or that Belarusians would use a Ukrainian uh, truck, uh, or that uh, ultimately uh, ISIS individuals would use a Belarusian or Ukrainian uh, truck. So it's too hard to tell uh, what's going on, but what we do know is that uh, these threats from ISIS individuals have been growing. Uh, it is obviously not preferred that this attack occur at all. It would be likely worse if the attacks were between Ukraine and Russia, as they could likely escalate uh, tensions between the countries, leading to concerns over World War III, especially since while these facts were breaking, breaking Russian intelligence did ask the United States to provide the United States' intelligence showing that Ukraine was not involved. When the United States communicated apparently to Russia. Russia then later replied, stating that the U.S. evidence is weak at best, which isn't great. This is a way to kind of set the seeds for more problems. Some believe that this could be a false flag or it would be a group like ISIS-K. Again, it now appears to be the Islamic State. Turkish police have detained 12 suspected IS terrorists, uh, ISIS terrorists. Uh, this was uh, uh, Friday, so earlier this morning before the attack. And then it's also worth noting that the United States Embassy in Russia gave a warning specifically about a potential impending attack to theaters. Uh, this warning was provided about uh, on March 7th, and they specifically targeted uh, two weeks ago uh, and warned that people should stay away from crowded spaces 
and they should stay away for sp specifically from theaters. Now, it's worth noting that did take place two weeks ago. Uh, there are some folks circulating on social media that this was just made within the last few days, but let's be clear, that was 15 days ago. It probably does refer to a similar uh, level of intelligence, but it, it, it's worth noting that it the statement was made on the 7th. It could have entirely been because of intelligence that they were gathering uh, from ISIS individuals leading up to this, but again, this is a security alert to avoid large gatherings over the next 48 hours by the U.S. Embassy uh, in Moscow, uh, and uh, that was posted on March 7th. Today is obviously the 22nd. That puts you about um, uh, 15 days after. Here is the security alert, so you can see it memorialized on the screen here. Embassy is monitoring reports that extremists have imminent plans, which was true. They were imminent, just not within the next 48 hours, to target, <coughs> excuse me, Large gatherings in Moscow to include concerts. U.S. citizens should be advised to avoid large gatherings over the next 48 hours. Something else uh, to keep in mind is we do have a coupon code expiring today on the courses on building your wealth, including trading alerts and lifetime access to course member live stream events we hold every single day that the market is open. Today we played uh, some trades on... MicroStrategy and Lulu, those Lulu trades, 2 to 3x, which was crazy. Uh, we got to talk about all of the trades, uh, some of them great, some of them not so good, but we post them all transparently as we make the trades in the Stocks and Site course. So if you're interested in that, check that out down below. If any of this World War III talk makes you nervous, though, make sure to go to metkevin.com slash life to get life insurance in as little as five minutes. Uh, now, as far as uh, the uh, Islamic State fighters, uh, there are... Um, uh, the, the claim from the uh, Telegram channel is that hundreds, uh, uh, hundreds have been killed or wounded in the attack. I agree with that. Uh, and this escalating tension uh, between the uh, ISIS K uh, cell and the rest of the United S uh, States and the rest of the world is increasingly concerning, especially for the Biden administration, given that the Islamic State Khorasan, uh, also known as ISKP, uh, or uh, Khorasan, I should say, I should say that correctly, uh, or ISIS-K, is based in Afghanistan, uh, and also in part in Pakistan. One of the things to keep in mind about Afghanistan is that Oopsie doopsie, we had a pretty nasty withdrawal from Afghanistan after Biden uh, took over. This is not to be political, it's just when it occurred. It's not to say that Donald Trump's withdrawal wouldn't have also been a disaster, but the disastrous withdrawal did occur uh, with CIA airstrike mistakes uh, where we have seen for uh, uh, airstrikes on... Let, let me rephrase this airstrike mistake because I'm going on a tangent here with this airstrike mistake. The botched withdrawal in Afghanistan was horrible. We know it was a blemish on uh, Joe Biden. The airstrike that occurred was because central, uh, we believe the CIA, so intelligence services for the United States, believe they saw a white Toyota that was planning a bomb attack on the airport in Kabul, Afghanistan. Well, a white Toyota was struck by an airstrike in the courtyard of the individual's home when his children were coming to greet him from coming home or for coming home. He was struck with a Hellfire missile, probably from a drone. <coughs> and he's dead. He was loading water bottles, five gallon jugs of water in his car. Those water bottles were still present. Now, US generals claimed that there were secondary explosions afterwards. The New York Times, I know a lot of people don't like them, but they conducted an on-the-ground investigation and saw no evidence of a secondary explosive. Meaning the CIA intelligence services targeted the wrong person. Guess what happened shortly thereafter? A white Toyota blew up at the Kabul airport, killing Americans and many individuals in Afghanistan. That was a horrible withdrawal. And now... What happened as soon as the United States withdrawal drew, the uh, uh, Afghanistan government collapsed, ISIS and Taliban took over. Well, Taliban took over. ISIS is uh, more of a splinter cell group. But clearly, the ability for these terror groups to coordinate and expand have unfortunately 
dare I say, gotten worse after this event. Uh, in an attack like this on Moscow, it should not be seen as a Russia-Ukraine issue. It should be seen as a threat to all society in the entire world. And so it's very, very scary. My heart goes out to everyone involved, both in the innocent individuals involved in Ukraine, in, in Russia, in Moscow. We talked to Kate Middleton earlier, obviously her and her cancer diagnosis. You can't wish these things on people. I look at my daughter, Summer, who's gone through three surgeries now in, in her first six weeks of life. You know, the hell she goes through. And, and I'm looking at this on, on a daily basis. And it breaks my heart to think that, that children and innocent people could suffer because of the atrocious decisions of others. So it's very disgusting, but this is an update of what's going on. Uh, it does make me question what's happening in the Middle East and makes me a little bit more concerned about uh, our fight versus terrorism. These things that you told us here, I feel like nobody else knows about this. We'll, we'll try a little advertising and see how it goes. Congratulations, man. You have done so much. People love you. People look up to you. Kevin Pafrath there, financial analyst and YouTuber. Meet Kevin. Always great to get your take. Even though I'm a licensed financial advisor, licensed real estate broker, and becoming a stockbroker, this video is not personalized advice for you. It is not tax, legal, or otherwise personalized advice tailored to you. This video provides generalized perspective, information, and commentary. Any third-party content I show shall not be deemed endorsed by me. This video is not and shall never be deemed reasonably sufficient information for the purposes of evaluating a security or investment decision. Any links or promoted products are either paid affiliations or products or services we may benefit from. I also personally operate an actively managed ETF. I may personally hold or otherwise hold long or short positions in various securities, potentially including those mentioned in this video. However, I have no relationship to any issuer other than Hack, nor am I presently acting as a market maker. Make sure if you're considering investing in Hack to always read the PPM at househack.com.